parents. Like, parents, how can you help your kids with this? How can you help your kids with parent you know, with a purpose? Well, one of the things you could do is like, and it's it's a funny situation with parents because I look. It's so funny with my son. Like, he respects me to no end, and we're buddies. Actually, I know a lot of parents think, well, you shouldn't be buddies with your kid. Well, we are. <laughs> Sorry, but it's such an awesome relationship, and but he really respects everything that I do for him and with him. But I'm his dad. And there's times where, like, for example, like, I think, anyways, maybe I'm picking it up the wrong way. When he is in the gym, little things like the other day when he was squatting, I said, oh, just, or he was deadlifting. I said, hey, make sure you're pushing your heels. Get your heels down and push your heels through the floor. And I explained for two seconds why, and he gave me the, yeah. Whereas if you or Dalton would have did that, the response would have been right. better. I take, I don't take offense to it, obviously. Yeah, He's my his dad. Yeah. I'm his dad. I'm I, but he he respects it, but he doesn't want to give me the kudos sometimes. Um, so parents, when you're when you're going through things like this with a player, they could be saying, "Well, what would you know?" and all that stuff. But this is where this can help a parent is have them you know speak to speak or help have them help. Nice sentence. <laughs> help them with their goals and their purpose. So, oh, you really do want to, you know, you want to play in the NHL? Okay, okay. You know, that's going to be hard, a lot of hard work, blah, blah, blah. And start reverse engineering it again and say, okay, so it might be you just get to AAA next year or maybe it's to get to the OHL or college. There's goals. That's Encourage that and make sure that they have, um, that, that, that you're going to help them align with those goals. So as a parent, you don't sit there and say, you need to eat your vegetables. That comes across like you know more than them. Um, you need to go to bed. Like now all of a sudden you can say, hey, uh, hey, Eric, remember we talked about your goals as a hockey player. Do you still want that kind of stuff? Yeah, well, it's 10 o'clock at night. Do you think it's you got a game tomorrow or on Saturday? Do you think that's it's good to stay up? All of a sudden that's a different question. Yeah. All of a sudden they, they're going, oh, mom and dad are on my side. When they sit there and say, uh, I want to have, uh, I just want to eat, what's a junk food? I don't even know. What's a junk food? Like Doritos. Yeah. You have a bag of Doritos? Is that junk? That's junk. Yeah. <laughs> a bag of Doritos and I want craft dinner for dinner. For the Ameri- for American listeners, uh, we call it macaroni and cheese, I think. We call it craft dinner. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but all of a sudden you could put that in there, put that on their plate now and say, listen, is that really going to help you fuel? Or you can cut the portion, but you have something that you can help them with and align their goals with, and you're on the same team now. Right. Right? Yeah. Well, there's there's two layers of that that I want to pull back for, sure. for the parents. So basically, the first thing is, so if you're mom or dad, one thing I would like to point out, sorry if you're offended by this, is you probably don't know how to help your kid. And like technically with hockey things, right? Right. right. So you might, maybe you do, but it's unlikely. So just take take that and understand that about yourself first of all that you you probably don't have the best advice to give from a hockey, hockey perspective, perspective no, right probably so, fitness too right so that's that's one thing so kind of stay in your lane for, for a, a bit because the kid at at a certain age especially when they're you know 15 16 whatever they probably know actually more than you about yeah. the sport about the workouts yeah. about whatever unless you're an exception where you're a parent that really works out and has played high level hockey or whatever or right? sports like or a sports, different sport right yeah. exactly so that's the first thing so what you what you should try to do as the parent at first is to some degree try to inform yourself a bit so you have some context in what you're talking about don't just go dictating to your kid what they should and shouldn't be doing when you really have no context for what they should or shouldn't be doing. Yeah. So seek out good information, like talking to people like yourself yeah. or whoever you think is reputable in the industry that can help you maybe give some better advice. That's the first thing. And then the second thing that you pointed out without actually saying it is you need to ask good questions, ask your kid good questions. Right. And this is something you can do even if you know nothing about anything they're doing. Right. So something that, you were would, were uh, saying you do with Charlie and you know, you even have, you could tell him, you could do the dictating role and you don't, but something is like, you're saying he's going to practice. What are you working on today? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, what do you think you need to work on today? Yeah. Oh, how come you, th- how's that going to help? Yeah. Whatever. And you're starting to just get in the gears moving. So yeah. even if you know nothing about hockey, you don't know what they need to work on and you don't need to know what the best way to work on it is. You're making them think about it, right? Yeah. You're making them try to process it and get the gears moving in line with what they th- they're saying they're trying to do, right? Yeah. So if you see like people have a general idea of even if you know nothing about nutrition, people have a general idea about things that you should and shouldn't eat, yeah. basically. Yeah. Right. 
And if you see your kid is constantly eating crap and snacking all day and keeps going back and forth to the fridge and all this stuff, ask him a good question. Be like, Oh, like, are you, are you hungry? Like, do you want to, you want to make something right now? Or like yeah. what you, I see you've gone back, back and forth to the cupboard like three, four times, yeah. whatever. Right. Yeah. And you're not saying, Hey, stop snacking and eating junk. Yeah. You loser. Like yeah, that's not, your ass is starting to look yeah. like a bag of nickels. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because then yeah. they get that resistance. Yeah. Like you were talking about yeah. with Chooch when you're correcting yeah. the deadlift or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, okay, mom, like, okay, dad, whatever. Yeah. But like you said, you're creating that dynamic when you're kind of on the same team, right? Yeah. So those are like the, the two layers I pulled out of what you're saying anyways. Yeah. Try to inform yourself a bit as a parent if you can yeah. and then ask your kid good questions so you can get the gears yeah. going in their own brain about it.